Hi, I'm Saina Inc. And today I'm doing like, I would say part two for my fun topic reviews. And this time I have three pens here because I'm not doing the complete reviews. If you want to see complete reviews, I'm gonna link these pens in the iCards up there. So today I want to talk like how I like these pens after I have been using this over a year. So let's start with uh, Moonman. And this Moonman is really, uh, it's Chinese pens, but it's Chinese pen, but it's not like super cheap. Uh, it's like 10 to 15 dollars. It's eyedropper. It has mine has extra fine nib. And at first, I bother. I was bothered by this cap because it has no cap ring. It's really like rolls out everywhere it wants to go. It's like rolling, rolling, rolling. But I have noticed it doesn't bother me that much because when I'm writing it, I often stand it on the table, hold it on my hand, and this kind of stuff. I I really don't. It didn't bother me that much that I in initially thought that it would bother me. And this pen uh, was like one of the pens I really fell in love when I was using it. Because the huge ink capacity and I find it really pretty. This ink sluicing around it's it's just gorgeous. And I have been filling this I think three times now. And even if its ink level is low and this is eyedropper, it has like no burping. No other problems like burping is when you pen like uh, drop some ink on the paper because you are warming up this ink and the uh, air expands there and stuff. So yeah, it didn't do that at all. It has been working really, really well. And one thing I like to point out this time is that uh, now uh, before when I posted my in initial review. There was no fakes around the eBay, but now when I was looking, there were some fake movements there. And one where you can like notice those is that the price is really low, and they often had like different colors this cap ring, and they were not coming into original movement package. Sadly, I don't have that original package anymore because I use that as, as my pencil case. But it's plastic package and came with the nice eyedropper. It has like red linen. I will put a picture in the uh, screen right now. But look for when you are buy if you are buying this pen from eBay. Look really closely at the listing. Look the price. If it seems too cheap, like too cheap, it's often it's not. It can be kelp. It can be counterfeit. So yeah, that was what I was talking. And also one thing I was worried that this cap, cap here is really thin and it has no cap ring, but there's no like cracks going on or anything. It's like really hold it up, even if it's really thin. So next we have the pen PBS. And in the initial review, I really liked this pen, but not after I had to fill this a couple of times. Every time I go to fill this pen, this piston is stuck. And it's so annoying that I've been actually starting to <laughs> use this as an eyedropper. I like take the nib out and actually I take the section out. Like so, because I find it easier than working with the piston. And then I like eye drop this and put this back together. Because the piston is stuck. It's like you can see it's doing it again. Piston is moving, but this piston grip is coming out. And actually, I had one of my found of my purpose video. It was this pen that was featured. So it's it's really sad. It's really sad that uh, because I need to feel it, not the way it used to be. Because the piston mechanism is so badly done that it's like not working. I also created it a couple of times. It still stops. So I think it's a matter of the tolerance is that uh, the inside of this barrel is too narrow for the piston to move. Or the gasket they use here is too hard, so it doesn't give enough to like move up and down. So it's great pen if you're like ready to fill it every time, like getting out of the section and filling it that way. Other than that, it has been good. It hasn't been uh, leaking that much, but as you can see, it's leaked a little bit here on the cap. I uh, yeah, it's, there's some ink, but nothing much. Most found them is actually leak on the cap. But this for me was a bit uh, disappointment actually, because the filling mechanism isn't working. And that's the main reason I got this pen. It was cheap and it is piston filler, so I want the piston work. And it isn't working. 
Then is the hero, hero uh, 918. <laughs> I actually forget this whole pain when after the review. <laughs> like I was watching the review, so I was like, wait, I have that kind of pain. Yeah, I have it still. Uh, this is the one that has food and it. So nip is like bent upwards. And it's really scratchy nip. It really chips Chinese pen. It weighs a ton because it's like made out of the metal. And I have to say it hasn't gotten any better. The nip is still really scratchy despite I was trying to do some nip work on this one. And it was still really scratchy and unpleasant to write. And I we and I can feel the cheapness in this pen, and it's not my favorite. It's especially it's really bulky. So probably next food pen I'm going to try out it's gonna be Sailor, because this one not so good. And also it weighs it's really heavy pen. It's like I think it weighs more than these two pens to combine. Yeah, definitely. It's like really heavy. So my hands get really tight if I try to draw with this. And also it's not so pleasant because then it is like scratching the paper. So yeah, here was the three of the fun books that I was uh, reviewed before and how I like them now. And I have to say Moonlight is one I like more than I initially thought and these two pens are meh, I don't like them that much. But I've definitely got more Moonman Phantoms because they have now some new models got, uh, like came out. So yeah. And if you want to see other my Fountain Pen videos, I have a playlist of the Fountain Pen reviews and they are uh, targeted towards artists and like drumming in the mind. And I have also some Fountain Pen problems video and other Fountain Pen related videos as well. So if you like to watch those, head to, to my playlist there. So thanks for watching and hope I see you in my other videos as well. Bye!